Welcome to part 10 of my business strategy to business plan course. And in this course, we are looking at funding returns and exits. So let's continue our business strategy discussion. And in this course, we're talking about fundings, returns and exits. Remember, this course is providing you with helpful frameworks that you can then interpret for your own business and bring into your own business plan. My name is John Colley. I'm a 30-year investment banker. I have an MBA with distinction from Cass Business School. So don't forget to follow me today to make sure you don't miss any of this new content when it's published. I love sharing my business and investment banking experience with you, and particularly in courses like this. So this is part 10 of the uh, multi-part business strategy to business plan course. In this series of courses, which is quite long, I admit, but it's very detailed and comprehensive, I help you to discover the intricate details of business strategy. I'm then showing you how to incorporate that knowledge into a real business plan, including a comprehensive template. So in this particular course, we're going to discuss valuation, funding, exit and returns. And we're going to look at understand what factors are important to your investors to make sure that they get the uh, returns that they're expecting and that you can deliver to them. This is a critical select section of the business plan because unless your investors are convinced that they can get an exit and get a good return, they won't um, buy into your business. We're also going to take a look at risk assessment because you need to incorporate a risk analysis into your business plan. But to be honest, you should have been th thinking about risk since we first looked at the SWOT analysis, where we look at um, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And that's all about matching your strengths and weaknesses to the risk in the business, which is really incorporated in the threats part of the SWOT analysis. So risk assessment is important and the, uh, the risk assessment section will be included in this uh, part of the course. And of course, at the end of the course, we have our tie in with the business plan. I provide you with a template and it gives you the opportunity to bring this into uh, all this knowledge into your business plan to make sure your business plan is as comprehensive as it can be. Now, this class is for every finance or business student. The course is going to enable you not only to understand growth strategies and apply it to a real business, but it's, of course, also going to help you bring those growth strategies into your business plan as well. Now, while this particular course is completely standalone, it's also part of the larger comprehensive business strategy to business plan course, all parts of which are being published here. And it starts with a business strategy and you end with a business plan. It has templates and step by step guidance all the way. So definitely make sure you join this class and you check out all my other classes, but particularly the other parts of this course. Well, I really welcome you to the course. Look forward to seeing you in it. Definitely enroll in this. But if you're interested in business strategy and you're serious about it, go back to part one and work all the way through all 11 parts of this course. And at the end of that, not only will you have a comprehensive understanding of business strategy, you'll also have a business plan.